Welcome back to my channel guys. My today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor using the Arduino Uno module. First, these are the list of materials that we needed. We have the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. We have 3 pieces, 10 cm, male to male jumper wires. We have Arduino Uno module and the Arduino Uno connector. First, let us discuss the pin configuration of our DHT11 sensor. Okay, then on the first pin, okay, this pin will be connected to the negative or ground, denoting these symbols. Then the second pin, in middle pin, this will be connected to the positive 5 volts and the third pin, this will be connected to the signal or the pin number 2. Okay, then let us set up now the DHT11 sensor in our Arduino Uno module. Okay, using the black wires for the uh, ground, connect the first pin in our ground okay using the red denoting the positive 5 volts the middle pin or the second pin of our dht11 connected to the positive 5 volts okay then last the third pin the signal pin connected to the pin number 2 one two okay then next we connect the this to the arduino uno and then we connect this to to our laptop or in our uh, computer after we connecting the arduino connector to our laptop or to our computer let us check first the connection by clicking my computer go to manage then look for device manager and check the communication port of arduino uno if properly connected then let us open now the arduino uno application or integrated development environment Okay, then let's go to sketch, then look for include libraries, then click the manage libraries. Okay, then let us wait for a while while the library manager updating the installed library. Okay, after the updating on the search window, let us type DHT11, then let us search. Okay, then once the search done, okay, look for DHT sensor library by add up root, then click the install button, then install all. After the installation done, let us close the library manager, then go to file, then click open, okay, then go to libraries, then look for document, then go to Arduino folder, then look for the 
libraries installed then look for DHT sensor library then look for the example then we have two example then let's try the DHT tester then let us open the Arduino application program then this is the program to check the DHT11 if uh, gives an output of humidity, temperature, heat index, and the Fahrenheit. Okay, then let us verify first if the program has an error. Okay, then the program has no error, then we can now upload the program to our Arduino Uno module to check if the DHT11 gives an output. Okay, to check, let us open the serial monitor. Okay, then set DHT test failed to read from. DHT sensor. Once you encounter uh, encounter this problem, okay, then you look for the this comment, okay, then uncomment whatever type you are using. Since we use DHT11, not DHT22, we disable this part and we enable the DHT11. Okay, then. Let us check again to verify if there is an error. Okay, then let us now upload the program then to see if the DHT11 gives an output reading. Okay, then uploading done. Okay, let us now check the serial monitor if the DHT gives an output. Okay, then as you can see, we have a humidity 62%, temperature 33%, then Fahrenheit, okay, we have 91.40, heat index of 40.25, then okay, uh, 104.45. Okay, that is the heat index for conversion of heat, heat index. Okay, then since our DHT11 gives an output, okay, we can now create a simple system okay, for the DHT11. If you think this uh, video is helpful to you, okay, help me to grow this channel by clicking like subscribe and push the notification button for some updates and thank you for watching